breaking news at Northeast Middle School in Kansas City, Missouri. They dismissed their students at 11 o'clock this morning because of a stabbing in the school. Our Rebecca Gannon is live outside the school now. And Rebecca, what do we know right now? Jamie, we know this involves two students here at Northeast Middle School. Police tell us that it was two boys in a bathroom. One stabbed the other. We know both boys were immediately taken care of. We know one is in the hospital in critical, life-threatening condition. The other boy is with police right now. Police say there was no danger to other students at the time, but school, as you mentioned, has already been dismissed for the day. Police tell us the call came in from Northeast Middle School around 9 o'clock this morning. This school teaches 7th and 8th graders. We don't know the exact age or grade of the students involved, but police tell us this is an isolated incident, and again, it was resolved shortly after 9. Officers do have a message for parents. Have that open line of communication with your with your with your students with your kids um, so that if they are having any problems with somebody at school that they feel like they can come to you directly. The Kansas City School District tells us that school was dismissed at 11 o'clock today. If your students were bus riders, they should be home. We were told they should have been home by noon today, which is right now. Again, we'll continue to follow the story throughout the day and give you updates as we can. Reporting live here in Kansas City at Northeast Middle School, Rebecca Gannon, KNBC 9 News. Thanks, Rebecca. And just into our newsroom, Kansas City Mayor Lucas tweeted, quote, our school should always be safe environments for our young people to learn. I'm horrified to learn of a stabbing at a Kansas City Middle School just after the beginning of the school day. We're in touch with our school district partners and authorities. Of course, we will continue this coverage all day long and bring you updates on the air, on our app, and at KNBC.com as we get them.